Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to create a very simple budget that you can use to track your income, expenses, and net income. And net income, just so you know, is your income minus your expenses. I used a budget like this in college. It's very basic and it really helped me track my um, cash flow and how much money I was going to have each month in my bank account. So let's get into it. So what I have here is a very basic spreadsheet. There's no formulas, there's no formatting, it's just plain text. So let me walk you through what I have so far. Up here in the first row, I wrote the months of the year. So we're gonna assume that this budget starts in January. I know it's March right now, so you might wanna start it in April. Um, but I wrote a list of the months so that we can estimate our income and expenses per month. Then over here I have our income. So what you're going to want to do is write income and underneath it, write a list of all your income sources. So for this pretend scenario, I have a restaurant job that we're going to get income from as well as a tutoring job. You may have other sources of income, um, like you might have an on-campus job um, or your parents might give you an allowance every month. You can write that there. Um, and then you're going to want to write total at the bottom of that list. So then moving on, the next category is our expenses. So what you're going to want to do is write a list of your expenses. So here in this scenario, I have food, gas, and phone. You might have other expenses. Um, maybe you pay your car insurance twice a year. You can add that on the, onto the list. Um, any expense that you have, you can write it right here. And underneath all of those expenses, you're going to want to write total. And then a few rows down, you can write net income. And this is where we're going to calculate our income minus our expenses for our monthly cash flow. So now we're going to start inputting some numbers into the spreadsheet. So let's start with the restaurant job in January. So go ahead and click on the cell B4. So we can actually add a formula in here to calculate how much income we're going to generate from our restaurant job in January. So let me show you how to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the equal sign. The equal sign is really important because it signals to Excel that you're about to enter a formula. So what we're gonna do is assume that the restaurant job that we have is $15 an hour. We're going to assume that we work 10 hours a week, and of course there are four weeks in the month. So we can type in those numbers just like you would a regular formula. So we're gonna say $15 an hour, then you're gonna hit the little star button on your keyboard that signifies that we're gonna use multiplication. So 15 times $10 an hour times four weeks in the month. And go ahead and click equals, and Excel will automatically generate a number for us right there. It'll do the formula for us. So $600 for January. So let's say you are going to assume that every month until December, you're going to make the same amount. What you can do is take this little um, symbol right here at the bottom corner of the cell. It should change from white to black. And you can drag that all the way down the row to December and it'll fill in the number for you. This is so that you don't have to manually go ahead and type it in every single month. So just to make things a little bit more complicated, let's say in the summer you only work, let's say five hours a week. So we can go ahead and change this number in June, July, and August from 10 hours a week to five. So that's half the income. So we're going to take that little symbol in the corner here so it changes from white to black and drag that from June, July, and August. So now we have a different income amount in for three months of the year. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with tutoring. So let's say we work maybe three hours a week and we earn $25 an hour. So equals three days a week, $25 an hour, times four weeks in the month. And we can drag that all the way down 
And again, let's say in the summer you don't tutor because your students don't have school in the summer. So you can go ahead and you can highlight those three cells for the summer and click the delete button. And now we have no income from that income source from, for June, July, and August. Okay, now we're gonna add up the two types of income in our total category. So what you can do is type the equal sign again. Then what you're gonna do is click on the first cell over here from the restaurant job, click the plus sign, and then click on the next cell, the tutoring. So to break this down, what Excel is doing is it's taking this cell, the 600, plus this cell, which is 300, and it's gonna add it together. And it does that, it creates 900. So we can do the same thing, we can take that little corner symbol and drag it all the way down to December, and it's going to add up for you each of the months of income. So the formatting looks a little funky here, so let's do a couple of things real fast. Um, you can see that restaurant job is cut off over here. So what you can do is take this little, um, in between the A and the B, you'll see that it's just a symbol changes to this little arrows that's pointing both ways. So you can go ahead and drag that a little bit so that you can see restaurant job, the full text. Um, we also want to maybe make this total line stand out a little bit. So go ahead and highlight that whole row click on the home button, and then click on B for bold. So now this stands out to us. Another thing that we can do is we can use a border to signify that anything under a certain line is a total. So I highlighted this row here, and we wanna add a border above this row. So click on this right here, this border symbol, and click on top border. Now when we click out of the cells, you can see that we have created a line underneath um, our income sources before the total, so that our total stands out. So now we're gonna move down to our expenses. So let's start with food. So what I did in college when I made my budget is I estimated how much I wanted to spend on food each day and then multiplied that by the number of days in the month. So for food, I estimated that I spent $10 a day on food and then times however many days are in the month. So for January, that would be 31 days and that's $310. So what you can do is you can take that and drag it down and we have our estimate of food for the month. Um, let's and you can adjust this of course based on the number of days in the month I'm just not going to do that for time sake um, and for conservative purposes too you there's not any more than 31 days in the month so um, this is a conservative estimate um, then we're going to do gas so I spend about $40 on gas each week times four 160 and then we're going to do our phone. And that I know I spend a flat $65 a month for my phone. And drag that across. Same thing as income. We're going to do a sum of these three cells of expenses. And you can use whatever, um, you can add up however many expenses you have. So I'll type in the equal sign. This time I'm going to show you a different way that you can use a sum, the sum um, formula. So we're actually gonna type in here sum, S-U-M, and then type in an open parentheses. So this is telling Excel that we are going to sum whatever cells are within these parentheses. So we're gonna have an open parentheses, and then we're gonna close the parentheses at the end of the formula. So we have these three sources of expenses. So what we can do is just click on the first one and hold down your mouse and drag it down so you get all your expenses. So this is a great way to make do a sum if you have a lot of expenses and you don't want to manually like click on each of the cells. So then type in a close parentheses and click the enter button. And you can see that it added up our total expenses for the month. 
So click on that and drag it down so that we get our total for each of the months. And then I'm gonna do the same formatting as I did for income. I'm gonna click the B for bold and I'm gonna use this border to create a border so that we can see how much our total is very clearly. So next is net income. So we can use another formula. So click on that equals button, click on your total income for the month, minus sign, and then your total expenses for the month. Click the enter button, and it calculates our income minus our expenses for us. And go ahead and drag that down as well. So what we have here, and let's click on the bold button to bold it so we can see it very clearly. What we have here is our cash flow from January through December. So if we want to add that all up to see how much money we'll have at the end of the year if we follow this budget, you can click on this cell over here after your net income. Click on equals, sum, open parentheses, and then click on the first cell in January for net income and drag it all the way down. Close parentheses, enter. So here's our estimate of how much we will have at the end of the year if we follow this budget. So let's take this one step further. Let's go ahead and make another row and let's type in bank balance. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to estimate how much we'll have in our bank account each month um, based on our income and expenses, our net income. So go ahead and type in how much you have in your bank account. So let's say right now I have $1,000 in my bank account. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to go back into that cell and edit it. So you're gonna hit the equal sign, and then we have that 1,000, which is our starting balance, plus how much income we have for the month. Click Enter. So here you can see that for the month of January, at the end of the month, we should have about $1,365 in our bank account. So for the next month, we're going to have, so click on equals, what we had last month, plus our income for the month of February. And here's how much we should have in our bank account at the end of February. So now that we have this, we can actually drag the formula down all the way through December, and we calculate what we have at the end of December in our bank account. So it should be the 1,000 plus the 2580, which is of course 3580. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bold that here so we can see it clearly. So there you have it. That is how I do a very simple budget for college. And it's really helpful because I can know exactly how much I'm gonna have in my bank account every month um, if I, of course, follow the budget. Now you can adjust this budget as the year goes on. If your expenses change, if your income changes, um, you can adjust that and the budget should flow pretty naturally because we added in those formulas. I hope that this was helpful and if it was, please let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Thank you.